Floyd Mayweather Sr., you know, before your son fought Sal Alvarez on the undercard, Danny Garcia from Philadelphia fought Lucas Matisse from Argentina. Did you see that fight or rewatch I, it? I didn't see it. Uh, Lucas Matisse. He's the Argentinian guy, kind of short hair. Danny, Danny Garcia beat yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, Danny, Danny Garcia beat him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that one on our car, was it? Yeah, it was right before the Mayweather-Canelo fight. Oh. The, the fight before. But you didn't see it, huh? I might have been looking at it. I think I was looking at it in one of the dressing room. I think I was looking at it. Okay. And, and uh, uh, yeah, uh... I think he knocked, did he, did he knock uh, the guy down a couple yeah, times? Yeah, once in the 11th round, I believe. He, he, he dropped him yeah. along the ropes. Yeah. And he won a decision. I was just curious, what do you think of, I know you had also seen Danny Garcia, his fight with Zab Judah earlier this year, remember? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about Danny Garcia as a champion? He's good for the guys he's fighting. I mean, you know. If you, you know, you, um, I'm just being honest with you, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to misquote anybody anything. LaFleur would pick Donnie Garcia to pieces. Mm -hmm. Peck on him like a chicken all night long. Why? Why would he be able to do that against him? Because, man, LaFleur's, Floyd is slicker. He's more clever. He's slicker, clever, smoother. And time is better. So I'm just saying, and, 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 and time is better right now because mm -hmm. anytime he's ready to go, it's done. And you will see his first, you will see his first defeat right here. So you got, you got to realize, you, you, this right here, how old is... Uh, Danny, he's yeah. 25. 25. 25. Maybe 26 in a few months, maybe. Okay. Look forward. That, that's old enough to be Floyd. Floyd old enough to be his dad yet. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Um, Close enough. You know, his um, people who look at Dan Garcia, the strengths, you know, he is like a very resilient guy with a good chin. And he's shown that he doesn't let pressure get to him, that he embraces being the underdog. Would that make that temperament make him dangerous against Floyd? Like him relishing that Me underdog and role? Floyd and Floyd, every kind of fighter there is to fight in boxing. Beat all of their asses. Before they can think about what they want to do, there you go. And you know, his uh, dad, Angel Garcia, he, he very outspoken. If that fight would ever happen, there'd be a lot of trash talk from their side, you know. I, look here, look here. I'm not worried about them. Trust and believe me, I am not worried about them. So, you know, whatever, whatever comes, come. Okay. Because, you know, like I said, I have no reason to try to wreck whatever they doing. And they sure in the fuck better not come over here on my side and try to wreck nothing over here. And one so. thing about Danny Garcia, he, um, with him, he hasn't expressed a desire to face Floyd. He's pretty much said, well, if I fight Floyd, if I fight Floyd, that's okay. But if not, I'm going to build my own legacy. Are you surprised that when so many other fighters are saying they want to face Floyd, that he's not upfront about it? Well, let me, let me tell you this right here. I'm not, I'm not saying, like I was telling you, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if on that side that they chose to come over here, that's the only time it's going to be a problem because right now we will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. But I'm just saying, uh, uh, but, you know, all that stuff left up to Floyd, man, you know. Who they want for to fight or whatever? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in control with that. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm the head coach. That's all that is. I'm the head coach, and, and uh, 
you know, we're going to sit back and talk about it and come up with something.